This weekend is a big one. I will be doing a webinar titled How to Get Your Next 20 Small Group Personal Training Clients in 30 Days. Head on over to Vince's Masterclass.com to register for free or just click the link in the show notes. Hope you enjoy the show. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Vince. Uh, hopefully you're all having a good week. And today I'm going to be talking about the best offer to use on your website to get more small group personal training clients. I am knee deep in preparing for the upcoming webinar that I will be doing uh, this weekend. Very excited about that to help you get more small group uh, personal training clients. So hopefully you can join. Um, Click the link in the show notes or listen to the end to learn how to get on. Um, Okay, so when I first got into the industry, uh, I didn't even know what a kettlebell was. And it was funny, uh, I was working at Fitness Quest 10 and uh, they just started. So this is like probably like 2003, four, five, around there. And, you know, they sent one to the gym and uh, everyone's like, oh, oh, cool. We're using kettleballs right now. And uh, people are like saying I'm wrong. And we were doing, you know, swings and stuff like that and doing terrible looking stuff. And um, so, uh, but before that, we used dumbbells for everything. Like there wasn't even, even think about using a kettlebell. And I feel like the pendulum swung so much in the kettlebell direction. It's like no one uses dumbbells anymore. And the reality is they're both, you know, really, really uh, great tools and both, you know, have their, uh, should have their place in a fitness program. You know, there's certain things, you know, my director of programming uh, from grit for the grit. It's like, oh, we got to use um, uh, dump, we need heavier dumbbells for dumbbell squats. I was like, use a freaking kettlebell. I was like, they can't, he's like, they can't hold them. I was like, then tell them to get stronger. And we were like, just going back and forth. Um, but, 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 um, this is exactly what has happened, uh, with websites. Websites are like dumbbells. And, you know, when Facebook ads and social media came along back in like 2015, as like the heavy thing, you know, to use, um, everyone just like abandon, uh, abandoned websites, right? Just like everyone uh, at some point, not everyone probably, right? Um, abandoned uh, dumbbells and, and used only kettlebells. And now all of a sudden, you know, people are saying, oh, actually, there's a really good use for our dumbbells on a lot of things. Um, well, the same goes through with, with, with websites and, and Facebook ads. Both of them are great tools to use to market your gym. And I think it's been a really, really bad thing for gym owners to do is to ignore um, their website at at the end of the day. And I always, I always tell this story. So if you've heard me tell this story before, I apologize, but we had this really good client and uh, he's been with us a really long time. He's a really successful guy. And, you know, but he's like in the construction business. So he's rough around the edges, but he prints money. He's really successful. Right. And, uh, I always like talking to people like that. He's just an incredible guy. And I walk through the gym and, you know, this is me always asking questions about, um, you know, how, how people got there and why they stay and all that stuff like that. You should be doing that too. Um, but I, I said to him, I was like, hey, Tommy, if you didn't like know me um, from Adam, right, and you were looking for a place like this, what would you do? And he holds up, you know, his two thumbs and he goes, I go to the Google that's what he said. And so if you, if you didn't hear what I said, I, translation was, I would go to the Google. And that's what he said. And, and in reality, that's what most people are probably doing. Um, most people are, you know, probably Googling either you because they heard about you or they're Googling, you know, personal trainer near me and, and everything like that. And what does that take them? Well, it doesn't take them to Facebook. It takes them to your website. So it's like, it's, It's unbelievable the amount of people that don't understand this and they don't really comprehend the value and the importance of the website. And a website client is such a powerful client because there's intent. A website client is a powerful client because there's intent, meaning they are searching for you and they're looking for a solution versus on Facebook, you're like hunting them down in their feed while they're trying to, you know, make a comment and like comment and share, you're barging into their day with your stupid Facebook ad. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, 
right? I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. But I am saying is like we can't ignore websites. And this podcast is not about for you to, you know, um, just like, you know, abandon social media and go all in on your website. It's not really about that. What I wanted to talk about today is um, what should you be offering on your website? Because in in my experience, um, the the worst thing to do um, is have a website that people visit and then they literally just don't do anything. Your, your website is designed to be a tool that captures information and helps you get a new client. Well, think about this. If all of a sudden someone has an intent to do something, um, to get personal training, and they go to your website and they can't find anything to do, um, a lot of people aren't going to like search high and low of your website to find a phone number or find a contact form that's buried on the bottom of the website or buried somewhere, right? The reality is you only have a finite amount of time for people to actually do something. And what you really need to do is make sure that front and center of your website, there is some kind of an offer, right? Now, I'm talking today about the best offer And I kind of have bad news. I don't really have a best offer. I will kind of shine the light on what we're using right now that's most successful. But the best offer is an offer that is preferably above the fold, meaning right when they get to the website, there's something for them to do. There's a place for them to put their name, email, and phone number in there. There's a button for them to click that takes them to a contact form so they don't have to you know, look for it and bury it because if they do, they're going to be gone unless they're really, really qualified and they completely just just look at your website up and down, they're going to be gone. So you got to have something, you know, that's very, very front and center. That's very, very clear on, on giving the next step. Now, the, one of the mistakes I do see people make, and, you know, I've talked about offers like fresh hot brownies and things like that, where you, you know, make a, you know, an offer that almost sounds too good to be true. And you, you know, stack, you value stack the offer with all kinds of different things like nutrition, coaching and accountability and all, all stuff like that. And I think that there's a place and a time for that. Um, I don't think that place and time is, is for your website. I, I start to think about the majority of people that um, are coming to your website. And especially if you're like me and you're training people that are adults and over 40, right? What do they want? They want to like just, they want to probably talk to somebody, right? If we're doing personal training and they're opting into a website that they knew does some form of personal training, they're probably not like filling out or wanting to fill out Um, you know, this big, long, you know, questionnaire or this big, long, long form application or anything like that. They probably just want to talk to somebody. And so the best offer could be talk to a coach. And in fact, that is what's working right now. So you guys know I own a marketing agency, right? And not to give away all our secrets, but I own a marketing agency called Kiss Marketing, right? And we test, we have hundreds of clients, Right, and we're testing different offers all the time. And what's working best right now? Talk to a coach. Talk to a trainer. Right, just like that's the offer. Just like, but but make it. But you got to put it somewhere where it's on, you know, the site where they're going to actually go to that to that page and and put their name and email and um, and phone number in there. And I hundred percent think you should ask for the phone number because text messaging is the best way to get in touch with people quickly. So you definitely ask for the phone number. Um, if you're getting advice from internet marketers, they'll tell you, well, just ask for the name and email. I think that's bad advice. Um, you're going to get a t- so much better response rate through uh, getting their phone number. And I'll take a potential drop in conversions um, if I can get the phone number all day long. So um, the best offer to use on your website to get more small group personal training clients is, is an offer. And sometimes it could be simple is talk to a trainer. And what is that? Is, is, is it talk to the trainer for free? Well, yeah. Yeah, for, yeah, for free. Yeah, of course. 
You know, that's like the best offers in the world are, are, are free. Um, now, if you're, you know, got this gym where you can only accept, you know, 15 members and you're charging, you know, 20 grand a month per person, then yeah, maybe you want to, you know, pay for that first meeting. But hey, get, get, them, in, get them in the door. I have this thing called the lonely kettlebell theory. And um, the, uh, I, I, I kind of adopted this uh, from a concept that Dean Jackson uh, taught. But it's, let's say you got a class um, and the class can hold 20 people and it's a whole, it's a kettlebell class, right? So everyone's got to work out with a kettlebell. And what would you rather have? Would you rather have 17 people in the class using the kettlebell and three of them sitting on the ground um, not being used? Or would you rather have 20 kettlebells being used and three of the kettlebells that are being used are from people that got a free class or a free session, right? Which one would you rather? Well, I'm guessing that you'd probably rather the free people, right? Because the free people, there's actually a chance and an opportunity for them to become customers. So a lot of people say, like, oh, I've had free stuff. I had someone say, that. well, we've tried free things to our market, but our market is very sophisticated and they're not motivated by price. So they don't respond to free offers. Well, give me a break, dude. Get off your, get off your high horse, really. All right. Um, first of all, people that, um, the people that, uh, value money that are wealthy, uh, they value their money, right? So they're going to want to try something, uh, for free. Uh, and again, it's not giving away your services for free. It's letting, it's, it's making the first conversation, um, free. And whether you want to offer a seven day free trial, I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about just, Hey, just get on the phone with somebody or get on the phone with somebody and talk to somebody or come in for a free session and try it. It really depends on your, um, on your business and how your business is structured. But the reality is, um, your website is a great place, a great place for you to get new clients. You got to turn it into a great place to capture information. And if it's not, if it's this black hole and they got to go searching for a contact form and it's not front and center, they're probably going to bounce. So you got to have something on there. You got to have something on that front page that captures information. And the goal is to just take the next step by getting into a conversation and, you know, saying how I can help you. And that's, that's, that's how it's done. That's how it's won. Um, you're probably not going to kill it with like, oh, this. Uh, and I have tried this, right? And I, I, after 15 years, I've tried everything. I literally have put a free 30-day trial membership valued at like 799 bucks, completely free. All they got to do is opt in. And it did terribly. It did terribly. Talk to a trainer, blew that out of the water, right? And why? Because it was like, it was an offer there, but it was almost like, it's like, oh, is this too good to be true? Like, what's going on here? Um, no, it's just like most of these people... They're interested, they're coming to your website, there's intent, and they want to take the next step. They want to talk to somebody to see, you know, what you're about and, and for you. And so your website, uh, going for a circle, your website matters, all right? You can't, in this day and age, you can't rely on just Facebook ads anymore. Um, you got to have a good website. People are going to Google, they're searching for a personal trainer near me, and you you, you got to be ready to rock and roll. So um, make sure that you are... Um, are taking care of your website, you're um, potentially uh, revamping your website as many, many, many of our gym owners have revamped their website uh, in the last couple of years um, and created a website that's optimized to convert um, versus just something that is a online brochure that people go to look at. It's a really important concept. So um, hopefully this was helpful and I will talk to you soon. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to register for free for our upcoming webinar, how to get 20 small group personal training clients in 30 days. Uh, we're going to be live this weekend doing it Saturday and Sunday. Head on over to vincesmasterclass.com or just click the link in the show notes to register for free. I'll see you there. Thanks.